Wow, go on everybody, y'all man, give me a back with a new video. This is a quick video for y'all. Y'all keep asking me, yeah man, what's that jump shot that you were using on the 6 5 build that you have with MJ Dribble Style? And I told you guys about 89 three pointer on this build. Let me show you exactly what's required. I call it the fake Patty Mills base because it is the fake Patty Mills base. It's like Patty Mills, but fast, but it's not gonna give you as great of not getting the chances of not getting contested on this game because it's not a, as high of um, a release height as Patty Mills. But because it's so fast, it makes up for it. And I'm talking about this Kevin Horter base, all right? It says for Kevin Horter base, you need an 82 three-pointer for it. And everything on this, it says 82 three-pointer. But if you want a higher release height, there and you'll get a C plus. But here's a little secret right quick. All right. This is what I do. This I'm all about Q when it comes to the big guard builds. And because, yeah, this is only a C minus, uh, a C plus defensive immunity. Trust me, that really does not matter. It feels good. All right. Now, obviously, you can change this upper release for something else. Like if you have the ability to put on an Oscar Robertson, you can do that. Now you have a B minus and you have a B minus, right? probably going to give you a more solid overall grade and everything but i wanted a easy q this is a easy q don't get me wrong but i wanted a easy even easier q with push timing and we have that with troy brown jr now this is the one i'm using but if you want to play it safe just go ahead and put on that oscar robertson and if you want blend it towards oscar some more and trust me you know it's going to be a good jump shot but if you want a really high release height let me put y'all on um, something real quick. Jet Howard actually is one of the highest release heights for big guards, all right? A matter of fact, if you blend it all the way to Jet Howard, you can see, like, it's a hard shot to time. That's not an easy shot, right? It doesn't look easy. Um, trust me, it does not look easy. But an A-minus release height on this base is almost impossible to get because it is the fastest base in this game for big guards. There's no base faster than Horter base for big guards. All right, trust me. I'm telling you guys the truth. No base faster than this one. And let me just show you what I'm talking about real quick before I show you guys the gameplay. Scotty Pippen is a good base. It's a C. Uh, David Roddy is a fast base. It's a C plus. Um, where is the other one at? Oh yeah, Ben Shepard, C plus. Remember, Horter was a B plus on the lowest. All right. And then you have J T Thor, a C. I'm telling you, there's no other base faster than this. And I'm just running through it real quick with you guys. Running 2K C, because running 2K is a fast jump shot. Let me just run through it one more time for you guys. I'm going show you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying to you. A C for Ray Allen, which is a great base, but you need to be a starter. Three, I just don't like how slow it feels. Um, all these bases have been patched. Uh, Harrison Barnes is not bad. All these bases are not the same anymore, right? All of them are slow. Ignas, C minus. Devin Booker, C minus. Set shot 25C. Telling you everything, everything I'm telling you. C minus. D plus. C. You get what I'm, you, do you see what I'm trying to show you? It is the fastest. C. C plus. D minus. C minus. C minus. D plus, like I'm just running through, through it real quick for you guys to show you. Like I'm telling you the truth, Horter is the fastest. All right, Halliburton D, Harden C plus. What more do I need to show you? Tobias Harris C C minus. Everything is showing you what I'm telling you. Horter is a B plus on the lowest speed. The fastest, the fastest jump shot in this game for big guards, and if it could be paired up with the small guards i believe it would be faster so to get an a minus with it is pretty much turning it into like patty mills all right but me personally it's gonna be hard to time this very difficult very very difficult to time this um unless probably you're a guru i haven't tried it with the a minus release high but i like to have my speed high so to me a b plus would be good enough with it all right be good enough with it all right now if you don't care about um say so if you don't care about like the immunity and stuff you just care about speed with the height maybe if you put eason on it it'll speed it up for sure no they make it almost impossible to get a maxed out a plus and um, uh, a minus release height with this base but you get the point because the, sh the jump shot itself requires um i believe it's an eight to two three point rating for Horter. let me check again boom 83 three-point rating for Horter. And 
you have um Cork Moss is I think it's like low rating for it. 77. Yeah, you're good. Troy Brown Jr., what's the requ requirement for that? There's alternate um alternate jump shot releases you can use. That requires 81. So all you need technically for this jump shot is an 83 jump shot rating, all right? And you will have the fake Patty Mills. These are the six I use on my big guard. But I don't really use the big guard. I just made it for some fun. Michael Jordan dribble style unlocked at Starter 3. And it is fun to use, but Kyrie is still the king when it comes to this game. So anyways, hit that like button, subscribe, big up on yourself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're gone. Now, like I told y'all earlier, if you read earlier, this base is Send faster it. than Terrence Mann base. It's the fastest big guard base out there. Any base that you name, JT Thor, any base. I'm talking about any base you can name, this is faster than it. All right, this is the fastest big guard jump shot. Now, I'm using a 6.5 in this gameplay because I don't have a 6.6 anymore. I deleted all five of them so I can make more small guard builds. And small guard builds, I mean my 5.11 that you've been seeing, my 6 foot, my 6.1, my 6.2. I have a couple 6.4s. I'm mainly just a small guard now, all right? I've been in the stage lately. We went on a 12-game streak on the 1.5. I know it's just a 1.5, but... Since we're just getting adapted back to the stage, and you know, when we go to the stage, we're playing, we're playing any and everybody. We do not care, right? That's what we do. We play any and everybody and anybody and everybody and then Muma can pull up and play us, all right? Because that's how we have fun playing the game. Went on a 12-game streak. A lot of gameplay coming up for you guys. A lot of gameplay. I have pretty much figured out the perfect build for me because I have a 6-3 and 6-4 that I've been using in the stage. And I learned from those builds what really works. I have a 6-1 that I've been using. As a matter of fact, I even took my 5-11 point guard to the stage for the first time with Patty Mills. I brought it to the stage before, but with Patty Mills, this is the first time. Played against some 99 uh, steel and 99 perimeter defense locks. Pretty much everybody in there I've been playing against has a 98 or a 99 perimeter. So it's a great understanding of what works and what doesn't work. Because you know, none of my builds have Hall of Fame speed booster. None of them. I really don't see a difference between gold and Hall of Fame. I have a 86 acceleration with a 6.5, but I'm not talking about this gameplay. A lot of you guys already seen this gameplay, but for those that haven't seen it, this is a 6.5 build with Michael Jordan dribble style. All right, I made it just for the fact that I wanted Michael Jordan dribble style to test it out since I had starter three. But when I'm on my 6.4 or my 6.3, and both of them, one of them have a 90 and, and the other, I think both of them actually have a 90. It does not look any different compared to the other opposing uh, PG using Hall of Fame speedboats around a 6-2. Like, it literally looks the same. I'm moving the same. Matter of fact, my 6-1 with an 88 acceleration moves. If, no, that's what I will say, all right, for those that are still listening. My 6-1 with an 88 acceleration, because that's the highest it goes, feels faster than my 6-3 with a 90. Matter of fact, it felt faster than my 6-2 with a 92 acceleration, because I had experimented with that as well. It feels way faster. I don't know what it is, man. But I just don't believe it's worth it going Hall of Fame Speed Booster when you can get all these other attributes, especially if you're somebody that primarily ISOs. Like, I ISO primarily. It doesn't matter what build it is. If I need a three and I'm going against a worthy lock, I'm going to call for the screen to try to, you know, create an opportunity for me or my big. My big is going to pop. But very rarely I do that, all right? In the stage, I'll do that more than anything. In the park, I pretty much never call for screens unless I'm literally grinding for XP when I was trying to get starter three, right? I'm not somebody that's just a oh, ISO to death. ISO is what I do. No, I, I'm somebody that play basketball in real life. And you know what? ISO and screens are a part of the game. And I like doing both, right? But if you're going to ask me which one I prefer more, which one is more fun, which one is more challenging, I'm always going to say ISO because it's only you out there. And if you play against a good lockdown, especially one that like watches my videos or something and they know my moves and stuff, it's going to make it challenging. Screens, no matter how much you know, guess what? You always have that second option of hitting the slip or hitting a pop, right? ISO, you don't have that. ISO is everything by itself. ISO, if you're getting boxed, you still have to find a way to get to the rim. You can call backdoor cuts sometimes, but the backdoor cuts are really not going to work all the time against a good team. You can also try to do a bailout fade or something. It's still, at the end of the day, you have to do everything with no stamina, whether even if you're getting ripped and stuff, you're on your own. That's why, to me, ISO is more challenging. Now, screens is very difficult when you're getting double teamed. Don't get me wrong. I always tell you guys that. If you've ever used screens before in the comp stage, real comp stage, it doesn't even really matter sometimes. When you're getting double teamed by two locks with high steals, high perimeter, it makes it difficult. 
No, this my I already showed you guys the 6-5 build earlier on this video. I'm probably going to delete it so I can make another build. Y'all know me, man. I love to make builds. I love to play the game. I love to play basketball. So that's how I make my bread and you know and, and earn an honest living is you know playing the video game and I'm doing I'm gonna do it as much as I enjoy it until I don't enjoy it no more, bro. That's just how it goes. Anyways, big up on yourself, big up on the mighty. This jump shot is very easy to green. Trust me. Just look for the flick of the wrist with push timing. Big up on yourself. We're gone.